Hey guys. So today we'll be using a BF fun build. Let's see how BF works on other type of build apart from its damage. Like it's a physical damage player. Let's see what it can do with a tank build. You can see we are taking a tank arcana as well as we'll take a tank build. You can see we have taken a tank build. Yeah, this one. Sonic Boots, Spear of Longinus, Gaia Standard, Hercules Madness, and Odin's Will. And that's a Blade of Eternity. Let's see how does it works. Enchantment, we can keep a pretty same enchantment or you can take a MM enchantment that gives us max gold. Let's see. It's gonna be fun. And for surprise, we can use a different jungle item like we'll be using a attack speed that is used in that is used in mm jungle as you can see this one see very low damage because arcana is a tank let's see what we can do as you know we are struggling from the very beginning and guys i prefer Rather than shopping auto from the shop, you should use manual shopping because it can help you by customizing your build. It has no movement speed. Oh, but still has big damage. Wow, I don't know how I am still getting damage because of the jungling item I see. Because the jungling item also gives it's a 15 attack damage, 15 attack speed and life steal. As you can see. Oh it's fun. So if you are ahead in gold then I'll be making full tank build. Let's see. We'll, we'll be relying on totally relying on attack speed, attack speed or jungling item. Let's see what we can do. What will be our next item? Ultimate. Defense. We will be taking Mental of Ra. As you can see, we will take Mental of Ra. As you can see from the normal attack, we don't have too, dam too many damage as it seems in the Leviathan. Oh, it would be to critical damage. Because as a player, I wouldn't be recommending you this build. Because it's just, it's just for fun. Otherwise, your teammates will be thinking that you will be you are trolling. They're gonna report you, and you will be get reported. first tank item is completed then we'll go for Gaia standard you can see there is no damaging item
but still how I am managing to kill I don't know let's see I'll be customizing something I am changing the jungle item from MM jungle build to tank not be taking any damage or life steal our build and hope to complete it hope my teammates don't win the match okay. I think it's over Person. Oh, 37.9, it's pretty good. So, next we'll be using BF as a mage build. Let's see what we can do in the BF mage build. As you know the bf has a total physical damage player it's a total physical damage so no mage arcana can enhance his damage or the, the build so let's see you. what what one we gonna get from them okay see i'm using magic damage as it's arcana no physical damage and we'll be customizing our build in the game as a mage build and s will be using the mage enchantment also let's see huh yes uh, i'll be using uh, as a jungle item i'm gonna use the magical jungle item that is loki's curse last game we have used the whispering wind attack damage satisfied. That gives us attack damage, so we changed it uh, into Leviathan. So the do no attack damage, total armor. But the game ended pretty soon. We'll try this one to take a bit longer. Titans. Okay, let's go. As you can say, I told you earlier, we should use this, uh, use this as a manual item. See, I took Kokri. It's a Loki skirts. It gives us ability power, AP damage, no attack damage. It's ability damage. Hey. I 
as you can see it's still giving physical damage there is no chance of giving magic damage so i don't know it's gonna work anyhow or not let's see there is no sign of one ability power damage it's giving still giving physical damage Let's see. You have defeated an enemy. Double kill. Ultimate. Let's go for Mage VF. And uh, we'll be using Magic Damage Shoes. That is enchantment that gives us uh, early. Magic penetration as a passive. Hey, look it out. Next item, boomstick. Let's see how boomstick gonna work. damage as you can see okay let's see another one huh? yeah 514 magic damage i don't know which ability or which passive it's giving okay normal attack yeah it's giving okay Okay, next item will be using Apocalypse. As you know, Apocalypse passive is uh, after using an ability, we, uh, the normal attack gives next normal attack gives magic damage. So it will be helpful. As you know, it's helpful for the jungle uh, mage jungling or mage junglers. It's an appropriate item. What is it? Oh, we are giving magic damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A, a big sign of amazing damage. Okay, now to do the next item. Um, let's see. To slow down, we'll be using Frosty's Revenge. Let them. Let's slow them down. Slow them down. So, as you can see, the effect of the boomstick. Yeah, yeah. That effect. No, no fights, no fights, no fights. I'll be running, I'll be running. I need to complete my item. The enemy wanted to want to be killed by me. No. I'll be ignoring them. Yeah, Lumbo take the kill. Shit. Oh. My team is gonna end the match. Let's take two then. As you can see, we are unable, still unable to. We can kill. And I'm still trying. Oh, I can see a uh, 1057 magical damage. Yeah. 662 magical damage. But guys, it's only for fun. I do recommend the two jungling builds that are suggested in the game. The one with the Leviathan and the other one with the Soul River. It's only for the fun purposes. 
just you know a game is for fun so let's have some fun with this fun build yeah the fun build magic bf no sign of physical builds yeah it's fun to play Let's see how much damage we have given. Yeah, I'm a bronze player. Oh, 35 min pentacles. There is no hiding from me. 40 percent. That's a pretty good damage. But don't try this at home. Thank you. Our new jungler hero, butterfly. As you can see. It has three abilities. First, we have to pick S1 because it gives movement speed as well as shield. And we have our build that is as a jungle item. We are taking Leviathan because Leviathan gives us sustained beauty. And as a jungler hero, we should start jungle from the opposite side, opposite jungle of the abyssal lane. You can see BF has three stacks under his its HP bar. Each kill gives us one stack. See by creeping. By killing a creep or a minion or an enemy, it will give only one stack. You can see by killing three jungle creeps, we got three stacks. And it's it's passive that by clicking three stacks, we can use one ability two times like this. I can see if I use alt i can use s3 three time two times s2 two times c one time again as you know bf's passive is if it gets kill or assist its ability gets refreshed you can use your alt to refresh minion or jungle creep but you can kill a creep or a minion or an enemy if it gets killed then your abilities get refreshed this is uh, in difficult category it's a very easy assassin but every assassin had you can see i used s1 twice because i You can see BF is very easy to play. If you are stacking Leviathan as a jungle, we should pick our armor pierce item as a second item after the jungle item. We should take rank breaker because rank breaker helps us give instant damage. It's good counter against squeezy heroes. PC heroes I mean low HP heroes but if you are stacking with soul river jungling then we should take sphere of longinus because it's an HP item it gives us sustainability and you know leviathan gives us armor so it already gives us sustainability to endure the team uh, pro fights or team fights against Damaging heroes. An enemy has been defeated. The body. An enemy has been defeated. You can see Leviathan gives us uh, extra passive damage. That is, you can see there is a wave of fire like wave is 
around the BF. We'll take another video that will be of Soul River Jungle. See, you can see BF is unstoppable if it gets a kill. You can it easily refreshes its abilities, so you can go on on a killing spree as easy as you can possible. Job. Okay, this time we will be using Soul River Jungling. As you can see, with this item there is Spear of Longinus. But in Leviathan we used Rank Breaker. Rank Breaker is an gives more attack damage to squeezy heroes. But Spear of Longinus it can be a easy counter to tanks. But we take it as an HP item because Soul River gives us attack damage. As, a, as it's stacked up but it uh, gives no sustainability but it gives life steal more th uh, that leviathan doesn't give any of it so we should use spear of langinus with soul river and rank breaker with leviathan As you can see, the top lane is of DS lane and the bot lane is of Abyssal lane. So, we should prefer starting it from the opposite of the Abyssal lane jungle side. So, it gives us a perfect rotation towards the Abyssal lane. As you know, the tank and the MM, they are on the Abyssal side. So, it will be an easy rotation and we will give the first aid to the team by giving us a first kills. As you can see, we can give more damage in Leviathan. It, it will, it is a fast jungling, but in Leviathan gives us a bit of late this timing. And if you are getting a bit help from the tank side it can gives us as they have the support item it gives us extra gold and xp but i don't think this tank has support item yeah it doesn't so it's stealing my xp as well as my gold but don't worry we can get a kill as we get level 4 As you know, we can't give early damage to the tower, but it has seen for the next 5 minutes. We should focus on our objective, as we don't get gank from the other opponent team's jungler. As, they, as you can see, they have a BFTS lane. That really sucks. We get our soul river. Okay. An 
just go on a killing spree. BF is so easy to play. They can easily snowball the entire match within the seconds. It you can end it with less in less than 10 minutes. As you know, our average match is of around 15 to 20 minutes. But if BF gets feeded, means snowballing. As you can see the difference as from the Leviathan jungling that we are doing easy for and fast jungling in Soul River. But you can see it gives us also life steal. See. You can see by killing a creep we can refresh the ult. Okay, someone left. Oh, four of them died. If you are if you want mega kills then BF is a perfect pick for mega kill. No other assassin can give you such a easy mega kill than other than BF. No other. The build and the preset build you should use in a BF. As you know, BF is a jungler or an assassin. It gives its a role, gives her a role as a raider. But today we'll be using it as a laner. Yes, it can be used as a laner, but not every time. So as a laner, as you know, as an assassin, its first build should be prioritized to jungling item. But you can see jungling item cannot be taken uh, unless you have a talent taken as a punish. So we can take it here. As you know, BF can be played in two jungling items. First one goes to Soul Reaver, another one is Leviathan. Okay. Soul Reaver gives us attack damage and Leviathan gives us armor and HP. So uh, in both the cases, Soul Reaver gives us a more attack damage build. Uh, more attack damage to the build if we played as an assassin but Leviathan gives a HP HP and armor which gives us sustainability in the game so it depends upon us which uh, we can play it as prioritized to the enemies taken or the titans taken in any uh, in opponents uh, we should prioritize it okay let's see as a first item it gives us cookery Kukri is a is a common item is a common item in every jungling build. So it should be prioritized if you are taking jungle. It should be prioritized as a far first item. Then we should complete to the second item, but not to the third item, because as you can see, the second item itself gives us to the gives us time to complete it up to 20 stacks. As we know stacks gives us more damage so second stack only gives up to 20 stacks second item only gives up to 20 stacks but the third item we have to complete third item to get 30 stacks only so we can wait it can wait for a bit then we go to the then we can choice or it can choose our movement speed item okay let's see there are multiple boots here so which one we should take in BF? Okay, as you can see, BF uh, we take an assassin or a laner. Okay, uh, we should use 
only attack damage item no uh, its depends on us how we can play or how we can prioritize our items so i prefer not to take auto sub we should use it manually so there are two boots which is suitable for ba one is gilded boots another is sonic boots sonic gift boots it gives us 110 armor and gilded grips it gives us 90 magic damage if we are taking two jungle items as we know it is prioritized to the uh, jungling build of bf so if you are taking leviathan as you know from the very beginning it also gives us armor so nonetheless it's not very pretty useful if we take sonic boots but we do not have magic defense for a longer time uh, or, or non at all so we should prioritize gilded grips as it gives magic resistance and from the very beginning of the game as you know it helps us from uh, say it helps us against the magic magic defenses okay it gives us magic defense my then my comes to our greatest. after the jungling item we should use we should go to our attack attributes let's see then we have two armor items two armor pierce items one is rank breaker another one is muramasa as you can see here is a titan called Thane. Thane is a tank so we have two items here actually three items here spear of longinus also an armor pierce item but it but it doesn't give armor pierce instantly it we have to wait up to five normal attacks or five stacks so let's see you can see oh, oh sorry it goes up to four stacks but it also gives 80 and uh, attack damage and 15 percent cooldown reduction as you know if we use two jungling items like leviathan and uh, soul river as per soul river i suggest we should take our third item after the boots we should take our third item spear of longinus sorry in leviathan we should use it use rank breaker as you can read rank breaker gives attack damage and it's pretty good against squishy or counter damage against dealers dealers i mean low hp like adc's and ap titans ability power titans that is mage and muramasa it is counter against tanks like tanky heroes oh, not only the tanks are the tanky heroes Sometimes the titans in the DSLs are also the tanky heroes. So just to counter them like very best example is Scud. You can't kill very easily with a rank breaker in your hand. No, you can't kill a Scud. We should use rank breaker. We should prioritize rank breaker, eh, Muramasa. We should pri prioritize Muramasa to counter tanks. Then next comes our fourth item in the build after the jungle uh, after the jungling item then we should take rank breaker or muramasa it's pretty optional it's pretty optional it's up to you then comes our next item is omni arms as it, you can see it is a multi featured item it gives 70 attack attack damage 15 percent attacks with 10 percent cooldown and 600 max hp so it's a it's a must take an item in any either of the jungling builds plus it also gives an aoe damage additional damage to the uh, to the enemies additional damage i mean it's just boot up boost up the damage of the normal base damage it's just boost up the damage then next comes our build finish tool as you can see it gives 200 attack damage but what's its basic what's its passive Venus Tooth increase all damage dealt by 30% when the target's HP is below 50%. As you can see, if a target's HP is low than 50%, then it gives 30% more damage. So you can deal more damage to a low HP Titan. So it's a very good item. Then comes our last item. Okay. What should be our last item? Last item, item should be taken a defense item. But I prefer rather than telling you that, okay, we'll be coming to that part. There are other defense items you can see here. 
one is medal of troy as you know it's a dps item it it, it is pretty uh, used to in uh, tank builds but it can be used in a warrior or an assassin if there are multiple magic damage enemies magic damage titans in enemies like for take an example for take an example there is an enemy uh, like your enemy assassin is zil then they have a mage named diochen or they have a uh, and they have a mm as a valent see you can see there are three three titans the, the, that gives deal with magic damage so you have a less chance to sustain that damage in team fight so you can take medal of troy as a as a defense item or a last item to to also sustain the magic it also gives magic resistance but but also help you to resist their damage then comes uh, then comes another item that is hercules madness yeah hercules madness it's a pretty good item as you can see it gives 80 attack damage and 180 armor let's go for example when it deals damage you can see we are taking damage yeah let's buy hercules magnets let's see how it can deal with it see see you can see that our health bar increase or gives a shield when our health percent reduces from 80% or 75 low than the 70 lower than the 75% as you can see so it is also a pretty base item and it can be used as a defense item then third item i suggest is rock shield it also can be used as a defense item as you can see it gives a very big shield see we sustain a tower damage we sustain a tower damage you can see we can sustain it yeah we'll use it once again but yeah let's see how many times we can oh it's in a cooldown okay then comes another defense item which is in it our magic attributes that one is arctic orb as you can see it's a pretty good item let's see how it works uh, like if you are it can gives you a uh, invincibility or it can freeze you for seconds and become you in becomes it becomes invincible against the abilities for seconds let's see you can see yeah and after that it also gives an shield to it gives you time if to attack or to defend yeah as you can see yeah we are using rock shield again you can see how many times or how many shield it gives to sustain that damage yeah so let's see let's see let's see yeah 1 2 3 basically it gives 4 we can sustain 4 so you can see it's a pretty defense item then comes to our actual defense items which we use mostly use one is blade of eternity it can revive you twice in a game see you died once you can run after death it gives us some hp about 40% about 40% of hp but it comes out with two uh, with a cooldown reduction and it only can be used twice in whole game okay other one is an attack item which also gives defense that is death sickle let's see how does it works it saves us from a fatal blow as you can see the fatal blow which can kill us yeah so how 
we should prioritize both the items as you can see why blade of eternity blade of eternity can save us from a from a passive gaining enemy okay like the bf itself as you know bf after getting a kill or an assist it helps uh, helps her to uh, it helps her to go on massacre so if we take eternity it will not help an enemy bf or an assassin to gives us gives her passive so it's pretty useful but death sickle it all not also can be used multiple times but also save us from a fatal blow which given by the enemy assassin or a adc or an adc so i so that's it for the day